What's up, guys? Let's see, uh, we're back. As you can see, I got, uh, Rolando up a couple more levels. I think I went up one more level since the last video. Um, let me just show you what I went and did. I went and got myself a broadsword. And I got the golden card. It took me five hours yesterday to get it. It sucks so fucking much, you have no idea. And, uh, I just went and bought a ton of fairy waters and all that kind of stuff just to skip fights. I got a second lottery ticket trying to do the lottery. I think it's like the fourth place prize or something like that. They'll give you another lottery ticket. You know, fairy waters like crazy. I didn't upgrade uh, Rolando's equipment at all, or mine, except for the broadsword. So, uh, first stop is to go get that Mirror of Ross so we can get the princess. Okay, here's some new enemies, and these guys are pretty tough, especially for my guys that don't have good armor. These baboons do a lot of damage. It's so hard. But they give you a lot of experience. All I got was strength that level up. Oh well. That's par for the course for the main hero. Okay. It's time to throw on one of those fairy waters. That damn fairy water isn't doing its job! swamp right there. That is where we are trying to get to right now. Castle. Okay, since it decided to take me back to Canuck, I'll see you guys back in Hamlin. Alright guys, here we are. Let's uh, get in there. Get ourselves the princess now. Now the princess, if you guys haven't already figured it out, is this dog up here that follows you around. They just need to face the dog and use the mirror. Right 
off the bat is I'm going to save, um, reset the game, so I can rename these two people now that I, now that I got them, because if I remember right, you can't rename them until you have both of them. Push A to get past all the credits. Get to Dragon Warrior 2. And then you want to continue your adventure. And then on your save, you hold left and start, and then push A. And this will let you rename the Prince of Canock. Now I'm going to name him Clovis. If anybody uh, knows what game I'm getting that name from. You're awesome. It's a PlayStation game, I'll give you that. Now I'm gonna do it one more time for the princess. And then we can get to going. We'll start leveling her up. Start getting everybody their gear that they need, because now I can actually start grinding for money, now that I have everybody. And, uh, get my guy the steel shield, the, the plate armor, uh, get, uh, Clovis the spear that he needs. Well, uh, let's see, um, I don't know if, uh, I don't remember if he can actually get any armor from this, uh, this... Town. Okay, so you do the same thing. You go to continue, and then for the princess, you hold right, and then start, and push A, and that lets you rename the princess. I'm going to name her Sable. Because, uh, I don't know, I like that name for girls. There we go, now you got rid of those retarded stock names that the game decides to give you. Okay, that's much better. Now, I'd like to give her the keys. All the keys in the game, there's like five of them too. Because there's very little equipment that she can actually get. Like, that's not even a joke. I think she can equip, like, three or four chest pieces. And I think for her weapons, she only has three that she can use. So let's see if we can uh, equip any of these guys. So we got the chain circle. No, no, not the fur, no. No weapons. She can equip the magic knife, though, if, I'm, if I remember right. There's really no point in doing that, though. You don't want her to physically attack, because even with her magic knife, she's still a freaking fat wuss. It's just useless. Just don't do it. Sell his chain sickle and get him the iron spear. And then there you go. Since you have the golden card, you get a special discount. So I think it's like a fifth of the cost you get back. Something like that. 
Would you like to buy a magic knife? Yeah, okay. Four to fourteen. Like, no. There's no point in doing that. Just save yourself the money and don't buy her anything. Except armor. That's all she basically needs. So what we're gonna do now is uh, we're gonna go out here and fight some more monsters because you guys haven't seen all of them yet. Anyway, so we get out here. And now the now that you have all three of your party members, the music changes. So we're just gonna do some laps around the town, try and get in some fights. No magicians. Three, these guys are pretty good for uh, beginning leveling on her. Uh, she starts to heal more too, which is awesome. And it heals like 80, 80 to 100 hit points. Whoops, didn't want to do that. All you basically want to do with her is just defend, like I said, until until you get her to like level 4 or 5 or whatever it is, to where she can, um, she'll learn Infernos and then she's fantastic. And then that's all, all you will ever use with her is Infernos, and that's it. And she's about to level up. Actually, I think I'll uh, head over to Moonbrook if I can make it without her getting killed. Because these guys will destroy her. These guys will kill her easy. Okay, well, she didn't get a chance to heal, but whatever. So that's a level up for her. Learn sleep, and that's good. You'll be using that a lot, too. Can't get to Moonbrook. These weak levels. Okay, I'll make it. Let's see if sleep works on them. Yep, nice. And now my uh, Devons are strong enough to pretty much one-shot these things. around in here and talk to all the spirits. And there's, you know, monsters too. The zombies, they're really powerful. Not, not physically, but, uh, they do have a lot of hit points. Yeah, see, he only did six damage. They're not near as strong as the uh, the baboons are, but they do have quite a bit of hit points. Might as well defend with her. Yeah, he's done. Oh, we well, uh, get back here. There we go. And turned into a dog. Oh, to see her again. Now, see, you come talk to him to find out. Oh, okay. That's what she is.
him out. Uh, I don't think there's anything in these chests. Yeah, they're empty. Oh, oh my god, a metal slime. I must kill him. Hopefully. Yes, I killed him! Yes, I can't believe it! My very first metal slime in this game, and I murked him! Ooh, four speed. Ooh, seven speed. The rest of his level up sucked, and the vitality's okay. Should be another level up for her. Yes. Yeah, Infernos, level four. Oh, this is kick fucking ass. Oh, five speed, that's what's up. Oh, that was awesome. That so saved me so much time and grinding. Look at that. Oh, and now she can actually fight back. Push my luck here too much, though. In a land east of here, you will see a place with four bridges and a small stone. The Mirror of Roz, though. No, there you go. Ah, ah, shit, ow. Oh my god, another battle slide! And he just took off. Whatever then. I killed your friend. Now see. I'll show you guys. Bend. Bend. Use her infernos. Yeah, 22 damage. 20. 29. There you go. Her infernos kicks ass. To hit a group of enemies. Oh my god, another metal slime! Oh, terrific move, a critical hit! Oh my god, yes, another metal slime dead. Oh, oh, five strength. Awesome. Awesome. Four speed. Learned return. That's nice. I know this video is uh, getting kind of long, but I don't care. I killed two metal slimes. Because of that, the princess is in a town somewhere. Her form changed by a curse. There you go, you pretty much set his soul free too. All in one go. Okay. It's time to get out of here. I actually did a pretty good amount of leveling up, but still, I need more. I need a lot more leveling that I'm going to be doing off camera, I'm going to come back, and my levels are going to be much higher, especially the princesses. And what we're going to need to do is uh, we will be heading toward this tower that's to the southeast of uh, Hamlet. But 
it's a bit of a walk. First, we're going to have to go south down the bridge, south of Hamlin. Then we're going to have to, or not, maybe not. Whatever, we're going to have to go right and up a, a, just a row of mountains. Oh, seven speed, that's what's up. Surround, we'll be using that a lot, too. We're going to have to go to the right, and to the east, and then north over some mountains. We're going to have to go over them and then go south along the coastline for a, a quite a ways to get to the tower, and then the tower is... I don't remember how big the tower is, but whatever, it's its a long trek. And uh, your people are going to have to be somewhat tough, and you're going to need the better gear, so that's what I'm also going to do. So I'm going to grind until I get all the money that I need to buy all the gear for everybody in this town. So the steel shield, the plate armor, that's like three grand right there, so it's going to take a while to get all this stuff. probably get it to like 12 or something. So, uh, that should be enough to get me through to the tower, get me through the tower to get the wind cloak, because after we get that wind cloak in the tower to the southeast, then we gotta head west of Moonbrook, and then north to the Dragon's Peak Tower, or Dragon's Horn Tower, I think it's called. We gotta get all the way to the top of it, and then you have to put the wind cloak on, and doing so, whenever you drop from a place, it just lets you fall one extra square on the map, which is what you need, because if you were to fall without it, you would just land on the grass square right above the tower on the world map, but once you put the cloak on, you'll get past the little river, or maybe, okay, it's three squares, whatever, you'll get past the river, and then you'll get to, uh, you'll see another tower, there's no point going in that tower, except for one item, which I will get. I'll go up in that tower and grab it, might as well, when you get there. Because that item is used to make the princess's sable. It's to make her best armor. So you might as well just get it while you get there. So anyway, uh, I'm getting ahead of myself with all the explanations of what's going to be going on. So I'll see you guys, and uh, we'll get it done in the next videos.